Good morning, rooster. Cock a doodle doo. Let's turn the page. Good morning, pup. Woof, 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 woof. Good morning, kitty. It's time to get up. Meow. Well, hello, everyone. It is Saturday before Father's Day. It's going to be kind of a relaxed day in the life vlog for you. We don't have a lot planned. It is been downpouring since we woke up at about 6.30. So um, yeah, it's about 10.10 right now. Nevea is trying to go down for her first nap. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's been a struggle with her morning naps this week because she is still nursing and was nursing before naps. And so I am weaning her. My husband and I are weaning her off. She has not wanted to at all. And so it's kind of a struggle. She doesn't want to drink milk from a sippy cup. She'll drink water from a sippy cup. So um, we've been reading up on it, trying to figure things out. And they just say consistency is key. So we started last Saturday when I was out garage sailing, not nursing her before her morning nap and so she is teething too so she's getting teeth number i think like seven or eight or nine or something like that hi hun <laughs> so it's been a bit of a struggle but i think she is learning to fall asleep without milk before the nap so it's coming but i am going to make a dessert for father's day for my husband oh he goes oh he's back there there's blaze and it's gonna be cheesecake his favorite yep. so Yep. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do here while she naps and um, yeah we're not really gonna do much today no garage sailing because it's downpouring and I don't want to go out and about and do that so I hope you enjoy coming along with the rest of whatever today brings all right so here's the recipe I am using there if you want to screenshot it or something like that um, I had some graham cracker crust already made because I accidentally doubled it from a seven layer bar recipe I had. There's not a lot there. So I might make a smaller cheesecake with more filling than crust. Although that's not as good, but I'm gonna use the rest of that. Looks pretty good. I've made it before. It is not healthy for you. 611 calories, whatever. <laughs> but if Blaze likes it, I'm gonna make it for him. He deserves it for Father's Day. The rain is really coming down. So I decided to make a pull apart monkey bread real quick too with some biscuits I had for Father's Day breakfast, of course. So it's not gonna be a healthy day tomorrow. have a good nap <laughs> all right let's get up so obviously Nevea did take about an hour and a half nap um, it's wonderful when she goes down on her own even if there's about five minutes of crying it's um, a process but it's good and it's nice then to have that time to get some things done as well but um, yeah she loves playing where's Nevea don't you and she loves reading, so we've been sitting on the floor 
reading some books. She'll grab all them out. She loves the farm animal sound books. It's a fun stage. She's 14 months when they start just really recognizing things and wanting to learn and grow. And these times are super critical, I think. Um, and we just want to raise her in the Lord and know that she's loved, but also um, just train her well. So you hear the pounding. Blaze is working on the wiring in the basement for the steps. That project is still going. It is an unfinished project. So we got to work on those stairs. Um, there's not a lot of head space. So when we walk down, we literally have to like bend our head that far in order to step down. So we took out a low closet, um, storage closet so that we can have more head space. Otherwise everyone's going to be hitting their head all the time. Um, it is about lunchtime already. I got the cheesecake in the oven. So yeah, and the rain has stopped for now. I love going for walks during the day, so we'll see if we get a walk in today or not. We're back from our walk and I wanted to show you some of my flower updates and garden updates. Uh, I did do a garden tour video a couple weeks ago, so you can check that out if you want to see it from um, end of May, I think. So I'm going to show you a few of my flowers while Nevaeh is napping for her afternoon nap. So this just bloomed today. Ah, oh, so pretty and it'll have some more there and a few more there. Yeah, this just filled in a lot. Since it was so dry, my ferns though are struggling right there a little bit. But I love how full it's gotten. And this little garden is doing really well. My grasses really do grow fast. Like they are a weed if you let them. And then this ground cover here. Oh, my shadow is right there. Um, that could become a weed pretty much too. Zucchini's getting big. Catmint looks good. I got some strawberries on my strawberry plant, but I think you have to wait a couple years to eat those. Sorry, there's someone mowing. <laughs> oh, and there's Maggie. My daisies are blooming, and then over there in that corner, I'll walk over there. That is dill. I think in my garden video I put it was marigolds, but no, it's definitely dill. It smells wonderful. I love it, I love it. Things are getting big and growing. This is always fun to see how quickly corn grows. It looks so good. I think the rain has helped a lot and then the heat. So it's um, knee high, waist high, almost waist high in some areas. So my broccoli, if you know, why did it flower out already? People help me please. It flowered, like one day it had a stalk like that. And then the next it had this. So let me know why it flowered out if you do. Um, already got all the radishes out and planted some carrots. I need weed again. Uh, turnips, beets, doing well. All my pumpkins and green beans. Oh, I'm so excited. Love it, love it, love it. So I don't show my front very often, but this is a Roman sage, I want to say. Um, it's filled in really well. This right here, like all the way up to there, all the way down over there, used to be a big like pine bush that was half dead and so a couple years ago we re-landscaped this and this basket never does this well like these have just filled in Ugh, i've kind of gone with the purple theme if you can't tell so that's filled in really nicely and these have not lasted very long oh my goodness they're almost gone already my lilies oh but they're so pretty when they last and then my echinacea right there is doing well. So pretty. So for the last few days, probably because it's been a little cooler, mid-afternoon, I'm making a matcha green tea latte <laughs> with some almond milk. And then I'll use my little frother and froth it up and then making it hot. You can make them ice too, but I just put like a fourth a cup of hot water and then stir in some of the matcha powder and then I'll add almond milk and then get it warm again, microwave it. You could use it on the stove if you wanted to. And I've just been loving it. So I'm gonna froth it still and then have that here for an afternoon pick me up.
here's our supper. I used uh, soy garlic chicken and then some brown rice and the sauce from the chicken is really good on the rice. And then I just used a bag of steamed vegetables and put a little cheese on it. So that's very simple. I'll link the recipe for the chicken in the description box. Join you. Good morning here it is now Father's Day officially so happy Father's Day if any fathers are watching this um, we had church boys and I led worship today and I think we're just gonna do some fun activities together as a family maybe go to the lake that we have close by so I hope you enjoy coming along with our day in life day at home and yeah have a blessed and wonderful day guys all right talk with you in the next video bye